I am sad to announce that the United States bastion of communism have decided that China is not socialist enough. In order to fix this, we will seek advice from the Western ultra-left, who neither understand our conditions nor have any experience in producing a successful revolution, except the one from 250 years ago where they broke away from Britain because they wanted more slaves and fewer taxes. I have hired as my new foreign policy advisor this white guy from Twitter who called me a red fash once. <laughs> Oh, I love this. This is perfect. Like, no, th this is great. Why is it H. John Benjamin? I don't know. It does sound like H. John Benjamin, though. His English is impeccable. Yeah, he learned it. To be a better socialist, he learned English. To appeal to the real existing socialists on the planet, you know, Americans living in Iowa, he had to learn English and speak it uh, with clarity. That's real. This video is literally real. He did that. He did all of that. He learned English by watching American TV. Bob Bur Bob's Burgers, just like you. Yeah. Xi Jinping, Iowa memoir. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Old friends, the Xi Jinping, Iowa story. In 1985, five young Chinese traveled to Iowa as an agricultural delegation. This trip forged bonds of friendship that brought one of them back to Iowa in 2012. That visitor was then the vice president of the People's Republic of China, Xi Jinping. For 27 years, Xi Jinping f held fond memories. Wait, isn't this what Biden talks about, too? This is like the famous Biden story, right? Fuck. I think that might have been in China where he talks about like how him and Xi were hanging out on trains and stuff. No, that was in, I think that was Biden in China. Yeah. Old friends, the Xi Jinping Iowa story illustrates the personal journeys of Iowans and China and the Chinese. Iowans and Chinese? <laughs> As they first traveled to each other's countries from 1979 through 2015, Sarah Land has been a catalyst in building people-to-people -people relationships between these two countries. Because of her involvement in both visits, she was asked by the 1985 visitors to tell this story. This is the greatest thing I've ever heard in my entire... Oh my god. Bro, this is so fired. That's crazy. That's fucking nuts, dude. Corn and socialism go deep. Soviet Premier Khrushchev was a huge fan of corn, a crop with a capitalist productivity unparalleled in the Soviet Union. In 1959, during his visit to the U.S., he visited a farmer who was an expert on corn cultivation. Oh, brother. Oh, no. Yeah. Are you familiar with the Virgin Lands program in Kazakhstan? Khrushchev's obsession with American corn after that visit destroyed all the farmland and it indirectly dried up the Aral Sea. <laughs> okay. If you ban one type of crop permanently, I'm sorry. I want to apologize to the Midwest about what I'm about to say, but corn has been a devastating... I could write an industrial revolution and its consequences on corn alone, dude. Literally, this fucking crop has been so damaging to American development and, and even, even the USSR. What the fuck? Why? Corn has been a massive player always, and I don't know why. As an Aztec descendant, I resent that. <laughs> why China's president loves Iowa? Bro, this is so good. Dude, Xi Jinping wants to maintain normal relations with America, not due to... uh. Our, our complicated but very important trade relationship, but because he one day wants to go back to Iowa, dude, this is the funniest thing ever. True Maoist peasant uprising will start in Iowa. <laughs> oh, that's so good. The revolutionary spirit lives on in Iowa, brother. I'm telling you. First Tibet, then the annexation of Iowa. Yeah, the Iowa Maoist, the Iowan peasants are going to do a Maoist rebellion and get direct support from the newly formed People's Liberation Army in the United States of America because uh, America, specifically Iowa, okay, has a long and complicated history with China. You don't get it. You will never understand it. Iowa has always been Maoist third worldist. We have a CCP-run museum in one of our tiny towns in Australia. Yeah, that makes infinite more sense for Australia, whose economy basically relies on China even more than America's economy. So that makes a lot more sense. There's also like proximity there as well. Iowa is the funniest because it's so fucking far. Now you show some fucking respect. Uh, my, my opinion on Iowa went up by a lot. Now that I know, dear leader uh, Xi, he loves Iowa. I love Iowa too in my heart.